Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, today we'll take a look at the Great British Pound. Uh, we haven't taken a look at it since the November, mm, at least in the weekly researches and uh, it's really significant event now is happening around the Great British Pound and around the Great Britain and the European Union. You know guys what I'm talking about. This is of course the Brexit turmoil, it's a lot of uncertainty stands with this uh, event and it really needs our assessment of really what will happen and how we should treat this. That's why guys, uh, today we have put a very nice weekly research, so you will find there a usual short term, uh, the short, the short uh, brief look on the forex market, but also in the weekly thread you will find uh, the new research from the Phantom Consulting uh, dedicated to the perspective of the Brexit and how it could impact on the major uh, economy data of the Great Britain, Great Britain. so um, I, I find it really very informative so it, it, it very short it's very, not a lot of uh, letters in this research but uh, it, it's, it's very informative so uh, also it's interesting that uh, the perspective of the Great British pound drop based on this analysis stands very close to our target but our target as you know stands mostly based on uh, technical analysis so they have some relation between each other so it's, it's really a thrilling moment um, in general shortly speaking I just will open some curtain for you of this research is that um, Phantom Consulting expect that Great British Pound could drop for the 30% in relation not only to the United States dollar but also to the euro currency in a long term perspective due to the uh, possible Brexit event and uh, it's very interesting that the results of Brexit uh, of course will be important but uh, they the, the market really could hurt even due to the overall turmoil that was uh, that will uh, prevent that will be at the eve of this Brexit uh, voting so that also could impact ne negatively because investors start the preparation for event and, th and they uh, start prepared to end a result. That's why the Great Britain economy could hurt uh, on the, even on this preparation by the assets withdrawal, uh, at least temporal, from the Great Britain economy. So this really negative sign. But I will not talk, talk you everything, so you, you could read it. Uh, and because the Phantom Consulting um, talks better than, than me and uh, with the charts this is really a very nice picture. We will focus on the technical picture. On the long term analysis there are also some interesting moments so I would suggest you to read uh, the monthly and weekly research as well but uh, on the daily video we will talk on the perspective from the coming week and what we will be watching for and what we will do on the Great British Pound. So guys I know that many of you hold long term bearish position on Great British Pound because we have started this analysis on the Great British Pound in 2011 when I have read the book on the, the, this uh, our Forex Milters course uh, there the, is the chapter um, the dedicated to the Elliott Wave analysis and there we as the add-on as the real application to the markets we have used the chart of the Great British Pound and monthly chart and there we, we, we have prepared the long-term analysis on the Great British Pound that suggests the trap to the 130 area. That has been done in 2011. So right now it's 2016 and market stands just very small distance out from this uh, target. Uh, in the sh that's why for those of you who do not have the short position and would like to take it uh, for the traders who trade only on the daily charts with this minor swings of the market. So this probably could be useful. So first of all on the daily picture we have a uh, butterfly that uh, already has touched the 127 extension and, and now is moving lower. We see that market is oversold and it's uh, understandable why this is this is going on. 
So uh, the next destination point of this butterfly stands right here. It's 137.10 approximately area. This level will coincide with the weekly pivot support one. And definitely this probably will be also the oversold area. So since market already stands at oversold, hardly it will drop immediately right down. So probably it will continue to move gradual and, and will continue creeping with this line, with this oversold. So you can see, although market has hit oversold uh, in the beginning of the last week after the Brexit announcement uh, uh, on, on Monday, the statement of the mayor of London that uh, supports uh, the bre Brexit. So, so this was a really significant impact on the market and the market drops. But take a look, after the hitting on the oversold, market hasn't shown any meaningful upward retracement. It just continued to creep minor bounce to the result again, flat action to the result, minor bounce to the result, and so on. So it continues creeping with the result, just I already knew the chart uh, line. So it will be, split division will be. Right, so touching, and again, minor retracement, result again. So we suggest that market will continue creeping lower until it will hit this target. So hardly any significant bounce up will happen. Because guys, as we have estimated on the high time frame, we do not have here any meaningful supports. So we don't here I don't have here any pip supports, uh pivots except weekly pivot support one and weekly pivot point. We have only pib extensions and oversold. That's the only support that market will get in any time soon. That's why we mostly expect continue gradual action right to this area, 137.10. Another reason why we think that market will not turn to any bounce, at, at least will reach this area, until this reach will, this area, because the same target stands with the butterfly that we have on the weekly chart. On the weekly chart we also have the butterfly, but it's bigger, much bigger than this one. This in fact the last leg of this butterfly, this weekly chart. And it has its same target, 137.20 approximately. So market, when the market will complete both of them, it will simultaneously will hit uh, the daily and weekly were sold, and this will be also the weekly pivot support one. Maybe all together they will be able to trigger somewhere, some, some upward bounce. And uh, we will try to use it for possible taking the short position on a great British pound with downward continuation. That's our trading plan, short term trading plan on the, on the great British pound. So those of you guys who trade long term and who holds the bearish positions, you could keep them. So because the target stands, uh, the, the Great Bridge Pound has still very significant downside potential. So if you trade long term on the weekly and monthly charts, you just could hold your positions and maybe you will use this bounce, possible bounce for a scaling. So this is also possible. On the intraday charts, guys, these pictures are not very interesting for us because um, it's mo mo mostly useless right now. So you can see that uh, we don't have any patrons. It's a bit early to speak about the patrons because major targets haven't been hit yet. What we have here, this market holds harmonic swings. Very nice, this retracement, but this retracement already has happened. So you can see here already a bounce has happened. Gap stands too far for current retracement. Maybe it will be closed only if after market will complete this target. It will try to make the retracement at least to the weekly period resistance one. Maybe it will close the gap. I'm not sure that such sort of retracement will happen, but who knows. For example, if we will get at least some harmonic bounces here, well, right, so it's, it, it will give chance to close the gap here. But uh, currently it's very difficult to talk about this definitely. So that's been said, our major target is waiting for the hitting of this 137-137-20 in the beginning of the week. Then we will drop to intraday charts, hourly or for our chart and here we start to watch for possible reversal patterns. If some reversal pattern will work and will form, that could trigger the upside retracement. And the final stage of our trading plan is the wait when this retracement will be over and we will try to take the short position at the end ending point of this retracement. That's as you can see a rather simple plan. So let's follow it and let's see uh, how situation will develop on the Great British Pound.